Good afternoon guys, this is Greg Travis and today you are Grubbin' with Greg. Buckle your seatbelts guys, because I'm about to pour you a tall glass of this is what it is and this is how it tastes. Now, today's flavor is going to be different because I chose to do two different places at once. I wanted somebody recommended to for me for me to try wings from one place and a wings from another place. So the objective of today's flavor is going to be to review to taste both wings and try to compare them or to find out which wings are best. So first up Buffalo Wild Wings. Got to go for the number one wing place. Right now I got the Honey Barbecue Boneless Wings and I honestly don't forget what kind of, uh, I honestly forget what kind of uh, the spicy uh, buffalo sauce is. I'm pretty sure it's the original buffalo. And right now I also decided to order a a classic American cheeseburger here that's got the lettuce, tomato, pickle, basically your original stuff. So, and somebody told me multiple times that I had to try this, the blazing knockout sauce with one of the wings. And I'm gonna just gonna put out a warning for this guy. If, as soon as I taste this, and if it scalds my tongue for life, He's gonna get an earful. So, I'm gonna try this first with one of these. And if this is as hot as I expect, that's why I got this. Mm-hmm. Oh, God! Oh. Mm. Oh, God! Mm. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh wow. <clears throat> okay, I gotta, hold on, I'm sorry. I gotta try to get this stuff out of my mouth because right now my tongue is still on fire. Oh my God. Okay, obviously, I'm gonna put this to the side. <laughs> Damn, I can still taste that stuff. Oh. Wow. Oh. Okay, now I'm gonna see if I can try a wing without any of the sauce on the side. Buffalo first. That is a nice kick. That's a nice kick. Even just a regular buffalo sauce, even if it's just a regular Frank's Red Hot sauce, is spicy enough for me. Huh. <sighs> Nice, nice tangy spice. Temperature's cooked for the chicken. Now, let's check the honey barbecue. Oh, wow. Mm. 
These are good. These are good. Wow. Not only am I a huge fan of barbecue sauce, but I'm also a good fan of good barbecue sauce. And let me tell you, this is good barbecue sauce. Wow. All right. Now, let's try their onion rings. They go. I do like those, but are they bet are these onion rings better than Bubba's 33 onion rings? Unfortunately, I would have to say no, they are not. I'm not saying I don't like these onion rings. I'm just saying that they're not as good as Bubba's 33 onion rings are. Now for my burger. See this? Huh. I definitely like this. I like this. The only problem is with so much with so many, so much stuff just stuffed in it, I mean, it take, it, it takes a lot, it takes a lot to just open your mouth and take a bite out of it. I mean, you have to open your mouth as wide as you can to eat a burger this size. <clears throat> I mean, seriously, just look at this. That is something I would like to go back to for, to Buffalo Wild Wings for. Now, next, I got wings, etc. Right now, I currently have just the regular Buffalo Wings. And just the regular regular boneless, boneless wings, no sauce on them. I did, however, decided to go for the honey mustard. Thankfully, they actually gave me enough, more than enough. And I also decided to order one of their burgers. Right now, it's sliding all over the place. The bun is sliding all over the place. Get this stupid thing out of here. First, I gotta go for the wings because that's the main objective. Come on. I'm gonna try this with ranch this time. I know this hot sauce tastes better than anybody because I I use this hot sauce for everything, almost everything that I cook at home. And I know for a fact that this is the Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Not only is it good, does it pack a punch. Now for the regular chicken wings with the Honey mustard. 
hopefully this won't be as bad as the blazing knockout sauce from Buffalo Wild. Wow, I like that. Nice and tangy. Nice and tangy. You could definitely taste the honey in this too. That's actually the first time I could taste the honey in the in a honey mustard dipping sauce. Wow. Okay. Moving on to the burger. I think, honestly, I think this is a nacho dip, but I'm about to find out because I got, I ordered tater tots on the side of my burger. Yep, nacho cheese. Okay, two problems. One, the first one I, the first tater tot I had, that was crunchy and good. That was good. But the other one I had, it not only was it soggy, it was also cold in the middle, which is not good. Not a, not a fan of cold food. So, either I'll uh, just reheat those or just throw them away. Now for their burger. This is not as big as Buffalo Wild Wings, but right now it is stuffed with so much mayo that the top bun is just almost sliding off on its own. Okay, I like this burger. I like this burger, I'm not gonna lie. But, is this better than Buffalo Wild Wings? Unfortunately, that is a no. And is it also better, but is it better than Bubba's 33 bacon cheeseburger? Again, unfortunately, that is a no. It's a good burger, but it's not that good. Now, for this burger, Buffalo, Buffalo Wild Wings burger, is this better than Bubba's 33? As much as I like the, as much as I like the combination of the veggies and the, and the temperature of the meat, unfortunately, no, it is not as good as Bubba's 33. It's a good burger, Unfortunately, it's not great. So my over so my overall experience, I would definitely have to choose for my wings. I would definitely have to choose the wings, etc., as the most recommended. Well, honestly, it's mostly because one, I tried the <laughs> I I tried the blazing knockout sauce with a a spicy buffalo chicken chicken wing, which just which caught my tongue on fire immediately. And two, some of the barbecue sauce on the my boneless wings. It looked like it was just splattered. It was just dumped and splattered all over. I and some of the and some parts of the boneless wings weren't aren't even touched. 
So I would definitely have to choose my number one spot with, as uh, wings, wings, etc. Good boneless wings, and and I like their burgers, but at the same time, I would probably would not get the wings, etc. burger again anytime soon. All right, that's it for today. If if any of you guys have any good recommendations or if you have any ideas where I should go or what I should try next, please comment in the, under the please uh, tell me in the comment section below and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Plus, it really helps me out so much. This is Greg Travis and thank you for grubbing with Greg.